Hey there, School of Tomorrow-ers. Pythonistas in particular, but really anyone who needs to dive into a project. So my last video, which, let's see, can I actually make Camtasia pop up here in Camtasia? See, here's my history, recent history of uploaded videos from Camtasia. And not, f not so far back, there's one where I'm giving this little laptop a big workout probably this one anyway recently and I was getting it to use M player and I used to make that happen I used something called brew home brew or brew you say brew install and it starts getting stuff right so way back like we're talking a couple hours ago at least it seems that way I knew I had Homebrew installed on this Mac. I don't use it every day, but I thought, you know, let's try getting POV Ray that way. Brew install POV Ray. And I believe I have a, a remembrance of doing that on the Mac Air and it worked. And this is, right, this is an old Mac, old operating system. So I have reason to be both hopeful and skeptical at the same time. So there's a lot of suspense in this, and I, I still, as of this recording, I'm not really sure what the outcome will be, and I have backup plan, and blah, blah. And this will be your process, probably, in some ways, looking for the showstoppers. What critical path things have to work for your dream to come true, as far as a plot? And it's good to test some of those things pretty early. And so here, okay, what were my two objectives? One get Visual Python, vPython, working on this computer, but also a whole really separate problem, POV Ray, the Ray Tracer. I have all these uh, plans of using them both, and in my mind they kind of all go together, but of course these are separate challenges. So as soon as I start trying to get uh, POV Ray installed, I have to get homebrew itself updated and then it launches into this deep process <clears throat> where it warns me that I don't have there's no support for it I have to solve any problems and it's a big big process with a lot of compilation I see them using boost right so this is like an angel sat down next to you and said let me drive and some very knowledgeable geek who is very well versed in how to compile stuff and which switches to use and what dependencies to get and all this stuff it is a complex process it does take a long time so that will, that's why there are these recipes out there and things like homebrew you'll see the little beer mug right there so at this point in the recording average guy is kind of in suspense because he i.e. me doesn't know if this process is going to carry through, but I have reason to think it might, as I believe I've done it before, and I've had good luck with Brew, this particular install methodology. Now, some people will get Python this way, and then they'll get Python another way, like with Conda. And there's a kind of famous cartoon about that. Let's test whether I can find it in, uh, let's see, what is the name of that series right we've got to think that so everybody knows xkcd of course how could i forget python let's see what would uh homebrew i don't know maybe maybe this will get it and then i'll sign off but this this thing about oh he explains his cartoons as well see this is really educational this whole approach have a sort of um, geeky cartoon and then you know go to the trouble to tell everybody what's going on here and all kinds of wonderful um, ex just excellent material on the whole issue around Python how to get it and how to not get too tangled up in multiple installations when Guido saw this cartoon, he tweeted out that it was, made him somewhat uncomfortable because it's so true, right? That we're going to get this crazy mess here. But 
I'm not really worried about it. The solution, one of the solutions is to virtualize, in other words, compartmentalize the various installations of Python you might need. It's like at some point in the stack, you really need to have some tolerance for chaos. I know there's this wish to have the sense of one genius overall, one ring to bind them all, and the whole technology is just beautifully integrated and smooth from top to bottom. And things like dependencies and what we call in Windows DLL hell, which means res resolution of those dependencies, that shouldn't be an issue, right? Why do we have that? But um, we do. And right now I'm kind of blockchaining this video to some recent ones. Just showing where we've been recently, talking about Alan Turing and um, cryptography. Because I'm using Python for lots of things, right? And one is cryptography. Another is all this geometric stuff. Like all these POV ray graphics that I have out on the web and have had out there for years. How did I get them in the first place? Well, I used a combination of Python and POV ray. So what you're seeing here is some average guy trying to continue using a certain tool chain in a slightly different environment than he's done before, and is that going to work out? And I think you can probably all relate to that generic situation. And I'll get let you get back to it, let you know how it goes. I still need to just go into, hey, there's one more thing I can do before we end this video. A constructive step. Remember, we're looking for a critical path and failures along that path. It's like there are showstoppers, potential showstoppers, we just need to find early before we invest a huge amount of time in something that ultimately is not going to work. So it's really in the early stages of a project that you often do these kinds of tests. Now one of these tests is I should be able to change my environment. Now how do I do that again? Conda env vp clean. Is that going to work? vp clean. So I'm going to conveniently forget exactly how to do the change environment. That doesn't seem to be a mistake yet. But on the other hand, massive compilation is going on in another window. Another process is really hogging the CPU. So slow response time to be expected. What I want to do though, no, see that's not the right thing to do. Uh, what am I supposed to do? I think I'm, oh I know, conda activate of course VP clean and then I'm just going to go into Python and say import visual and hope that nothing bad happens and that's another test along the critical path that I, I, I feel good about doing in parallel with this other thing that's happening. So, and I'm also going into the kitchen, I'm making breakfast, I'm taking care of a person, I am doing what you might say is a housewife role. And I say that as a good thing, like I enjoy it, um, I don't see anything wrong with domestic chores, and I do a lot of them, however, I rely on appliances a great deal. So dishwasher, all those things, because to take care of more than one person and do all this kind of stuff and 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 I rely on a certain amount of joules kilowatts which a lot of which comes around here from the grid of course and from the Columbia River in particular so here we go import visual so this is kind of Portland is like my asylum city model I live in asylum district which is named for Dr. Hawthorne, who ran the first asylum mental hospital here in Portland uh, for the government, for the state government, which is based in Salem, but they subcontracted or they, they I guess they, inst so no, no module named visual. So that seems strange, right? Because I'm, I'm in, I'm in that particular um, let's see, import vPython, how about that? Okay, I guess this, this looks like, okay, so that worked. Maybe it used to be called visual and I'm somewhat out of date. So this test passes for now. I'm not going to do any more. I'm not going to even try to make a sphere appear. 
I, I would like to do that soon. Next video. And back to the other window. How we doing, com compiler? How we doing? See, no news is good news as far as this other window is concerned, which is where again? Terminal window. So I thought I had two going because I've got homebrew happening. Bring all to front, all right? Where's my homebrew? Come on. Don't want to have lost the homebrew process. Yeah, I just, I just scared myself there. I thought I had somehow maybe terminated this whole make process and showing myself that Visual or vPython was coming along. But I have better news than that at the moment. Coming back, I did find this window, oh my goodness. And um, things are still proceeding. We haven't crashed out of this process. So that's a hopeful sign, and I'll see you next time on School of Tomorrow.